So good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I am uh, Nasimul from Malaysia, although, although I am uh, uh, originally from Bangladesh. Thank you, Professor Goria and his team for in inviting me is in, in this very distinguished event. And uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Ranjit, especially to uh, visible me in this uh, uh, distinguished uh, uh, conference. Last night also I disturbed you. You know, when Professor Doria had given me the, uh, this topic, awareness of uh, virtual autopsy for forensic nurses, that time I was thinking what I will tell in this distinguished gathering. Actually, the nursing department is flourishing and taking over many aspects of forensic works from the forensic people. And because of the gravity of the situation, forensic nursing is now is inevitable in many aspects of forensic activity. Now, the question is where we will you know, accommodate the forensic nurses in our digital autopsy. The thing is, first, you see what is digital autopsy. Digital autopsy is a scalpel pre procedure of autopsy using modern medical and imaging and measuring technology. That is very simple, digital. And it is not very old, it is very new. And forensic nursing is defined as the application of nursing process to public and legal proceedings and the application of forensic healthcare in the scientific investigation of trauma and or death related abuse, violence, criminal activity, liability and accidents. It means all aspects of forensic medicine, we need the help of forensic nurses. Without us, forensic nurses will be nothing in forensic field and Without uh, forensic pathology, uh, for pathologists and nurses would be nothing. Uh, you know, I still remember uh, in 1996 when I was in Japan, that time, that is maybe that International Association of Forensic Nurses, Con uh, Nurses Conference was held in Kobe. I had attended and I was really amazed the quality and the knowledge the nurses bear that time. From my childhood, I had seen on the left and right, whatever I had see, seen in nurses, you know, they just help the patient, not more than that. But nowadays, the services are, uh, you know, uh, extended to many, 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 many places. Now, now if we know the, what is digital autopsy, that time we can easily understand uh, where we can fit our nurses and already fitted, already fitted where there is a digital autopsy. Digital autopsy is not very popular still now, but it is also flourishing. And is, you know, in some developed country, it is very common and where digital, uh, where the nurses are working day and night in each and every places. Now you see where we do, the, uh, we place our nurses when you see the digital autopsy, that time you can understand. That is, what is digital autopsy? You already understood. That is the, this is a scalpel free digital or, uh, autopsy where we need not any uh, di uh, dissection of body, but before preparation of uh, 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 digital autopsy, we need involvement of forensic nurses to assist the family as well as doctors. Digital autopsy, as I told you, it is not very old. In 1999, it just, you know, invented by Dr. Ajay Dharma, and it was uh, developed by Dr. Richard Die Hartner of uh, Switzerland, and currently Michael Thali of the same department, he is taking over and he is uh, uh, improving. What are the techniques used? Magnetic resonance, computer tomography, 3D surface scan, D divider image, multi-slice computer tomography and magnetic resonance, MRI, spectroscopy. There, there, there is different function they have, but you CT guided dental biopsy and postmodern angiography. Each and every stages, we need help of forensic nurses. Nowadays, each and every steps, we need the help of forensic nurses. Without nurses, no one would accept the reliability of uh, the uh, digital autopsy. And currently, well, what uh, Michael Thali did one uh, experiment, and he found that 
that accuracy of digital autopsy is more than 80%, more than 80%. And that's why nowadays it become very popular in developed country, especially where people they don't want, do, want to do autopsy of their relatives. Now you see how digital autopsy we carried out. This is a dead body and this is the computer. We have to join this one. How we join? There is just a chain. What is that, that chain? Chain is the gun. We just put the body inside the gun and then analyze and we send it to the you know, uh, uh, computer and it comes up. This, it is although everything under, uh, uh, in the machine, machines, in the computer, but each and every aspect, we need the touch of forensic nurses. Now, what we do, this is the gant already mentioned. You see, we put the body inside and you, you see the body, we just in six, 28 seconds, it entered into the gant and come out. There is, you know, the uh, sensor around, around and in one rotation, they have taken 64 pictures in one rotation and the slice is 0.5 to 1 millimeter thickness standard is 6.625 millimeter and uh, all together you know in 180 centimeters standard human body they have in 28 seconds they have taken 230 more than 230,000 photographs and sent it to the computer uh, computer and analyze and you see there are different density of different things. There is bone density, lipid density, tissue density, yard density, all densities are different. And determining that density, computer tell us what is what. What we can do through the digital autopsy, the di we can do dissection, rotation, cutting, anotion, segmentation, measurement. We can, everything we can do. And tracking of the foreign body, movie, Photoshop, photo snapshot, drawing, everything we did nowadays to digital autopsy. And so far, we understand that whole body scan of the disease, 3D, 2D, and multiplanar reconstruction analysis. And it is, it is a non-invasive and minimal invasive autopsy technique. And finally, we need the help of nurses in all, every aspect of digital autopsy. Now you see one, uh, 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 what we do. We can see the skin. When we see the skin, we examine thoroughly. After that, we remove, just click the control panel, then the switch, and it is removed. And you see there is muscle come up. We remove the muscle and bones come up. We remove the uh, internal structure. You see, we can see blood vessels. You see, these are the blood vessels. And we can anote, anote. we can write here, this is this part, this is this, everything we can write. This is also a little close view. We can make more closer. And this is, uh, 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 this is hollow viscous, how we see. How we see the bronchial tree. This is the bronchial tree. We can see when we make it close. If there is any pathology, we can understand. And after that, when it put in, in the table, that time, you know, uh, 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 we can give our report on, uh, on the spot. I will show you at the end of the uh, presentation that how we uh, do that and who are responsible. You see, this is, a dead, uh, this is dead body. We can rotate. Whatever we, we want, we can, we, can, we can do. Now we are doing, examining the body. And this is this side, this side, this is the control panel. With this we can do control panel. Now you see, you remove the skin. After after removal the skin, we can make it close. We can uh, send it far, and then we can examine whole body. You will you, you will see what we, we, we can we can, how how can we sec make section. You see now this is this is the section. Actually in digital autopsy we do three type of you know uh, dissection. One is coronal, one, one, one is sagittal, one is coronal, and another is axial. These three dissection we can make anywhere, but any angle we cannot do. This is our limitations. In any angle we cannot do. You see, this is going on. The control panel is very important here, and through the control panel, we can, we can cut the half of the body. Now we can see the, uh, how we examine the kidney. Suppose we examine the kidney. This, this thing goes on through the, through the machines. We remove all the 
muscle, uh, skin, muscle, and then we can you know, identify the kidney where it is, and then we can make it big. And at the end, you can see. Any uh, rotation, you can do any, 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 any side, right, left, up, down, everything we can rotate. And we can, we, we are looking for where is uh, uh, mostly visi visible that we can see. The where mostly uh, accessible to kidney, that that places we can go and we can remove, we can remove all the other structures and we can examine. If the kidney is almost, uh, you can see visible. Now we can we can make it close, M make close. In close view, we can see the pathology. This is macroscopic examination. And internal, if you want to uh, do some histopathology, we have to do needle biopsy, and we can take some some part. And you see, kidney is very much very much clear to see. This is this way we can examine kidney. Okay. Yes, this is kidney. Now you can make it big, and you see how nice it is. And in ordinary, in conventional autopsy, we cannot clean uh, the muscles, fascia, and the other ligaments in uh, in uh, in this way. Anyway, so if we want to track some uh, foreign body, uh, especially metal, that time also we can use our digital autopsy technique. You know, it is screened from the bottom. It can go from the bottom and, and it can go up, like you can see from up. And this is the uh, table where, you know, if there is anything, anything they found, any metal they found, any foreign body they found, they mention here that it is at this level at the, uh, where there is, uh, uh, there is. Anyway, so in autopsy, what we do, you see, this is the, uh, the original body. We can see, you see the staple, surgical staple wound also we can understand. And this is the skin. This is, you remove the skin. We, we can examine the uh, bones and this is the, you know, um, teeth, broken teeth. And this is the fracture of uh, uh, the skull bone. And when we remove the uh, uh, remove the brain through digital autopsy, then we can see the inner aspect of the uh, uh, of the skull, and we can see the fractures. And this is you know uh, this is a two a two dimensional picture. And when there is any uh, hemorrhage like thing, a two dimensional picture is better than that of uh, three dimensional pictures. And this is you see the, all these are two-dimensional pictures and this is also in a 3d pictures and you can see the skull uh, the spine of the of the vertebra we can see and scalpel and you see this is the scapula in conventional autopsy it is impossible to find it out but you know in, in digital autopsy it is easy for us to determine in this uh, digital autopsy yeah, through the digital autopsy everything we can make it close suppose this is the fracture of uh, symphysis pubis we want to make it close this is very close fracture it is easy to determine the fracture cardiac tamponade cardiac tamponade means that is accumulation of fluid in the pericardial sac how we determine we just do an, an, an actual actual uh, dissection and then we can see here more than that we can find the calcified aortic aorta you can see there is calcified aortic aorta this is also calcified aortic aorta. In a, a 28 seconds, we do autopsy, and we can see. You know, we can give our report. And in that uh, in that uh, work, uh, you know, uh, when the picture is good, when the trained nurses help us to do this, they take these pictures. Then it is easy for us. And you see, this is the conventional. This is the conventional autopsy when there is an injury, knife injury. And this is the digital autopsy, CT scan. You see the track. We can determine the track. 
Here also bullet injury, we can determine the track entered and exit, gunshot injury. But it has some advantages, it has some disadvantages, but it is not perfect yet. It, conventional autopsy, uh, digital autopsy help the conventional autopsy. It is not the alternative of digital autopsy, alternative of conventional autopsy. It, is, it has give, given some added value. It has advantages, disadvantages. Now I'm going to tell you some about our university. I am from University Technology Mara, representing University Technology Mara. It is uh, UITM ranked globally 100 to 1 to 200 in between. And very recently, it is uh, in Malaysia, it is number four. And uh, we have graduates uh, already, you know, 890,000. But you can't, Im you can't imagine that is uh, our, our student currently 100, more than 170,000. We have 217 full professors have been working currently. And we have 40, uh, 37, 35 campuses fully active. This is our medical faculty, and this is our uh, mitochondria. We said mitochondria. This is our you know, academic building, and in this academic building, in, in from, we have taken this picture from from the uh, our specialty center, specialty center. But our hospital is it, this is our uh, another campus, another medical faculty, another campus. Uh, it is not very far, and as I told you, that our hospital is a little bit far. It is developing. Uh, it is already fully functioning but we have not moved yet. And you see, this is our, this is our new, newly built hospital, already open. And uh, mortuary, uh, this one is the mortuary, whole area. There is mortuary and there is a digital autopsy facilities and everything. We, in, in, the, in the forensic, we have nurses, appointed nurses and uh, on roster, they have been working. And uh, this is our uh, 1100 bedded 1, hospital. Initially, it was 900 bedded, but now it is because because of COVID, it is now 900 bedded hospital. And this is our uh, uh, digital system. This is our autopsy room. This is our uh, instrument, and this is the viewing area. There are three people sitting there: police, radiologist, and forensic pathologist. Nurses have been working in in and out everywhere, especially in the lab. They also help us, and we do uh, with their help. Even you can't imagine that they are helping us to, to slice of the you know, uh, histopathological slides. And this is our journal. If anybody want to present, uh, submit any paper, you can, and you please uh, contact me in that uh, regards. And this is a group of students except this one. Thank you very much.